there we go. Ooh, hey, what's happening guys? So, um, I first off, I need to apologize for um, not uploading video last week. So, Laura's grandmother passed away on not the Monday past, but the Monday before. So, I decided not to leave last week. Her funeral was the Monday just past. Um, so, I was planning on leaving the Monday afternoon, but it... I wasn't really feeling like it was right to jump on camera. So I ended up leaving yesterday afternoon. I had the same feeling again yesterday when I when I left Bathurst um, and was driving up here. I just thought it it just wasn't feeling right to, to jump on camera. So I um, I thought this morning I'm here, we're on the trip, you know, we're hundred percent into it now. Um yeah. So from here, yeah, so at the moment we're, um, we're currently at Ponto Falls, um, which is uh, 20 minutes past Wellington, 15 minutes uh, past Wellington. So we're gonna have something to eat, uh, pack everything up and then move on to Lightning Ridge, which I am so excited for. I have a, have a few things that I really, 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 really wanna show you guys. So um, yeah, let's have something to eat get packed up and then hit the road. See you guys. Ooh. There it is. I also have to do the washing up from last night. Hooray, living by myself. campsite anyway it's just all open there's about I don't know, four or five other people here with me so where we've actually come down we're on the river there's another campsite up the top there with toilets um, which was an amazing walk at you know 11 o'clock last night um, yeah other than that that was nice peaceful except for them um, we've got the river here I've never seen it much higher than what it is at the moment but um yeah it's just a nice relaxing area to come and sit down hang out chill and um yeah my car um anyway guys we're gonna wash up pack up and then hit the road Alright, we're all packed up. It is raining. Rain just came out of nowhere. So, we're just gonna hop in, hit the road, head towards Lightning Ridge, and uh, hope for the best. Hopefully, it's not raining up there. Um, I wanna get changed first, but I don't think I'm gonna have time. Anyway, we'll uh, see you guys in a bit. from what I've seen so far. So yeah, we'll, you know. Yep. So um, yeah, we'll uh, see when we get there. Yeah, the car turns on. All right, see you guys. I just pulled off in Canamble. Um, getting a bit hungry, I think it's like 11.30. But I was gonna pull off in probably another half hour. And then I came across the silo. I love, Seeing painted silos when I'm on the road, 
Um, the main ones are Anemia Cup Portland. But, how cool is this? Um, I'll whack a few photos up, but I'll fix that. Awesome as that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have some lunch, um, put some food in the car because all the food's in the back of the car at the moment. And yeah, we'll keep heading on towards Lightning Ridge. Yep, that works. All right, lunch is finished, here we go. So cold. Oh, can't wait to get up Queensland. Anyway, guys, I'm to Lightning Ridge. We made it. We made it in the Lightning Ridge. So we're at one of the caravan parks at the moment. Uh, I'm powered site because I underestimated how many people were going to be here. So I was hoping for a powered site to charge laptops and whatnot. Um, but other than that, you know, my bad. That's a lesson learnt. So, yeah, we'll book for the next campsite. Anyway, I want to set everything up and hit these um, Tizian ball baths if I can make it there tonight. If not, my bad. Cool. Let's uh, hop into that. Yeah, I'm so tired. So, so tired. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. You might be wondering why I'm setting up the swag not the rooftop. One huge reason, the rooftop is a pain in the ass to set up. So, we're using the swag. All right, and that's it. So, I'm gonna have some more lunch. I did just find, just popped into my fridge for a drink. I just found that one of my cider cans are leaking which is amazing, because now I have apple cider all through my fridge. That's right though, we'll get that cleaned. Ooh, might do some editing for another couple of hours. Apparently there's a live band here, which is pretty cool. So um, we'll go check them out later, but yeah. Until then, I'll get this to clean up. Perfect. Um, so, sorry about yesterday. I ended up um, having a mad headache after I um, set everything up had something to eat so um i ended up just calling it a night um but saying that though feeling really good today um i actually did make it to the hot bars um yesterday i thought that would help with the headache turns out it made it worse um it's absolutely amazing and i cannot wait to take you guys there um other than that though i think it's what 8 eight thirty. Oh, so you get out, have to eat. And then head into town. I might go buy myself a water bottle. So, you know, I got some water. Other than that, though, yeah. Let's uh, hop into it. Eating breakfast, washed up. We're in the car now. Um, it's so hard to film these vlogs. Very, very hard. But... We're heading from here into town, picking up some supplies, and then hitting up the... I um, can't think of what it's called at the moment. It's a it's a mine that an artist has purchased, and he's, he's gone down into it, carved out all of these amazing sculptures into the walls using apparently only a knife. I'm really, really looking forward to that. So it was that and the uh, Atizian Boar Bars that I really wanted to go to. Um, and so we were supposed to be here till Monday. I think that plan might be changing um, because there was a woman up in the Sunshine Coast who tested positive for COVID who was actually in the Melbourne lockdowns. So I've had a chat to 
a few of the people here at the campground and they've essentially told me that they've packed everything up and they're ready to hit the road at a moment's notice. If the Queensland border gets shut down, um, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this trip. We'll be turning around and heading back home. We're kind of winging it at the moment. Um, I think my priority at the moment is to get into Queensland if something happens. Um, but until then, we're gonna have so much fun. So here we go. And one other thing before I hit the road, I'm at the Opal Caravan Park and the Atizian Bull Bars are literally a 200 meter walk down the road, which is awesome. Anyway, we're on the road, so I'm gonna shut this down, bye. I thought what a fantastic thing to do at 9.30 in the morning. I'd come in, get that out the way, it'd be really cool. So you go uh, five meters, uh, five meters, five kilometers underground. And I thought, you know, that'd be cool. It turns out there's time slots, you can't just rock up and go down there. So I'm thinking, that's easy in ball bars. this it's all been made from got wine bottles down here bb bottles bb cans this is absolutely amazing <laughs> who would have thought though to create an entire house out of old old cans and cement this is just insane it's amazing anyway we should probably keep moving on. This is amazing. If you're looking at coming to Lightning Ridge, you have to come up here. This is insane. Anyway, guys, let's move on. So we've just found the Amigo Castle. Um, this is actually really cool. So I'm getting the feeling from Lightning Ridge. It's similar to Hill End. Now, if you don't know where Hill End is, it's um, probably an hour and a half out of Bathurst. Um, so it's near Safala. And it's just a whole bunch of artists that have just moved there and they just create artsy things. Um, and honestly, I'm getting the exact same feeling about Lightning Ridge. Minus all the hope liners, because you know, there's a lot of open mining out here still. Um, but, how awesome is this castle? Uh, I was gonna do a garden tour, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what the week brings. That, my friend, is a castle. Ooh, I must say, some of the things here are absolutely amazing. Um, well worth, well worth the visit. Um, I'm here until Monday. I probably would have been right with about two days and I probably could have moved on. Um, but you live and learn when you travel. So I'll probably head, head back to the campsite, have something to eat, try to warm up a bit. Um, yeah, go from there. It's rain, honestly, isn't letting off. Um, I've tried to do a few things today. 
and it's just so hard to, you know, um, plan things when you don't know when and if it's going to rain. So, I'm just held up a caravan park at the moment. This is, yeah, in one of the rooms. Have a little cool fire next to me. Um, trying to, you know, work on ads, catch up on editing. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I'm doing at the moment. Um, I do have a tour, an underground tour at Havas 2, which I will make. That's in about uh, an hour. So, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, until then, we're just sitting here with cider. I'm looking at all my Facebook ads. Um, yeah, not, not much really happening. It's a shame. Real, real shame today. I was really looking forward to it. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be nice and 19. 19, no rain, a little bit of overcast. So hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to get places. Um, and I found a really cool place, which is going to make Laura immensely upset. So I'm hanging out together tomorrow, get to the um, underground art place. Um, yeah, we'll see you there. So we're in an open mine at the moment uh, with all these cuttings. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not sure you guys. So all of this has been hand done with a knife and a fork. Essentially, any household item you can find. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I'll show you guys more. Now that was a fair hike. Oh, I couldn't even tell you how many stairs it was to walk down there, but oh, so amazing. So everything, everything down in that mine is hand carved into the sandstone. The guy that carved it just did everything from memory. So he had no photos, no, no nothing. All oh, when his inspiration had come to him, he just art carving. Um, but oh, amazing sculptures down there. Anyway, it's still raining, it's getting cold. Man, I wish this rain would go away. Anyway guys, um, I might not film the boar bars depending on how much it's raining, but I will head there first thing in the morning and we'll film it then if I don't get to film it today. All right guys, uh, we'll see you there. So that has been one hell of a day. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I've actually swapped back to my phone. Um, I feel that how I wanted this vlog to turn out isn't going to turn out how I wanted it to. Um, simply because one, experience, two, I'm learning still. Um, when I get to a Sunshine, when I get to the Sunshine Coast though, um, I hopefully have a, I hopefully have a solution for this problem. Um, other than that though, I went over to the Ball Barns. Um, they were absolutely packed. 
Um, saying that though, I've actually thought of a really cool photo opportunity that I want to try to do. The only issue is, is it's only going to work if there's one there. So the plan is to have a shower, um, get all the camera equipment that I need packed, set my alarm, and sleep in the car. So when my alarm goes off, um, I'm already uncomfortable, and then make our way over there at about uh, two, half past two in the morning, and hopefully there's no one there, try to get this photo. If if I get this photo, it's going to be amazing. But oh, other than that, it has been a pain in Lightning Ridge at the moment. It's simply because it's just raining. Um, and hopefully in the morning, it will, we won't have the wind, we won't have the rain. Um, it's meant to be like 17 degrees tomorrow, which is awesome. Um, so I only, only have a few more days. Um, and I have a really awesome location to get to um, for something that Laura absolutely loves. So I'm excited to hopefully get to that tomorrow. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm I'm just going to get everything packed, have a shower, and then, yeah, head to sleep. Um, so I will see you guys at probably 2 a.m. Rule packed. Rule number one, always pinch everything from your girlfriend. So we're all packed, we're ready to go, so I will see you guys probably at half past two. Let's turn this light off. Good night, guys. There's the switch. <sighs> so, um, yeah, we'll get onto the baths and see if anyone's there. Um, I just want to get this one photo. And then hit the swag, because it's really cold. <sighs> Man, it's cold. So you might be wondering, what kind of idiot walks down the hot bars at one o'clock in the morning? Well, that's this idiot. <sighs> Man, it's cold. It's so cold, it's even hard to talk. Um, Anyway, we're running a couple hundred meters down the road. So, oh, oh, we'll see you when we're there. All right, so update. Um, we got down here at what, half past one? Uh, early in that, one o'clock. And uh, turns out there were some guys here. It's going on quarter to four now. And we have just finally gotten the shot. Um, so I'll put that up in a second, but these are the hot, hot springs here. They run average 40 degrees all year round. Um, natural hot springs from a kilometer underground. Um, absolutely worth coming here, it is amazing. Like I said, it's almost four o'clock, there's no one down here. Perfect time to get down here, hop in, have a soak. And yeah, anyway, I've gotta get changed, um, head back to the campsite. Uh, sleep for a few hours and then hop into the day. All right, guys. Well, you don't need to see me getting dressed. See you later. So, I've reached some uh, some gardens. And how's this for you? Yeah, huge, massive cactuses, cacti, however you want to pronounce it. These things are taller than what I am. And I'm what, six foot two and a half? That's huge. Anyway, I've only wanted to come here because one, Laura's not with me. Secondly, she loves every type of cactus. So, I thought it would be fitting to come here, to film here, simply because she can't be with me. Um, so, this is for you, Laura, and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, please.
cactuses. So I was just having a chat to the owner and he was saying that some of these cactuses are over 100 years old. How cool is that to have just cactuses here at a over 100 years old when I can't even keep one alive for more than six months? This is amazing. So this large guy behind me, this really massive tall one, was planted in 1996. How amazing, how amazing is this cactus? That was an absolute adventure. Um, over a hundred different plants from over a hundred years old. It's just absolutely crazy. So these are some of the last ones here. Um, so we're gonna probably have a look at the map. Um, see, see if there's anything else. See if there's anything else that, um, or any other places that I need to go to. Um, if not, we will probably leave the vlog there. So I'll be, editing up tomorrow and then posting on Sunday. So, yeah. All right, so we're at the campsite again, had a look around, there wasn't much more um, I wanted to do here in Lightning Ridge. So we'll, we'll probably move on Sunday. It's Friday at the moment. Um, and yeah, so I'll probably spend the rest of today editing, tomorrow editing. Um, hit the road Sunday. We have a comedy show that's actually held here at the Caravan Park um, at about half past four. So I'll uh, hit up that, um, see what that's like. Um, but other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and, you know, I'm not really feeling this vlog too much. Um, again, like I said before, I think it's just experience uh, more, than, more than anything. But I do have a plan for when I get to Brisbane. Um, we're just passing passing through Brisbane, heading up to the Sunshine Coast. Um, so yeah, I will see, see you guys when I leave here uh, next week. Awesome, all right, uh, peace out, bye. Bear hands in shorts. <laughs> Jokes to me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last night? <laughs> what happened last night? <laughs> How many people from Victoria don't care about the football last night? <laughs> 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 How beautiful. Alright, where are we from tonight? I've, I've lost me place. To spit. I hit a bump and lost the grip on the biggie in me mitt. While trying to grab me, this skill I went flying through the air and bounced up off the bitumen. Me bum was bruised and bare. Now me brother Bruce, he's bonza. That's all right, that I'm going back out to the outback. <laughs> to the back clubs back in the outback. Now I must be back in the back brim pack to my